Hello everyone. So the downfall of the red pill movement has been very entertaining. Um, if you're even mildly paying attention, this past week it was revealed that one of the members of the Fresh and Fit podcast got some young woman pregnant and they leaked the text um, onto the internet. I'll post the link. It was on Reddit that had the text. But basically watching the downfall of the movement has been greatly amusing. It almost feels like karma. I mean, these guys came, you know, during the pandemic, they just really exploded in popularity. It made mediocre men feel seen. I mean, I get why it blew up. A lot of men harbored a lot of negative feelings towards women because society is changing. Um, the expectations for men are higher than they've ever been for them to get into a, a relationship or date women or see women. And it is, it's been very frustrating for the men, but instead of, you know, understanding that they needed to be better human beings, they doubled down on being ridiculous. And now it's just, it's just greatly entertaining, just watching the downfall. Um, Kevin Samuels dying was hilarious. I'm sorry, but it was because the way he died, um, single, with a woman he didn't really know very well, rumored to be a sex worker. Um, Andrew Tate being arrested. It, it, you can't write this level of comedy. And now Fresh and Fit, the one fresh, I guess, got his real name is like Walter or something got a woman pregnant and now she's leaked the text between them and, and he wants her to get an abortion and it's really funny because he actually says in the text that he can't afford a child he doesn't have any money or something like that and it's just been very entertaining at the same time while all of this is happening watching the 4b movement and if you're not familiar with the 4b movement it, it started in korea where the women were like so done with the bad behavior of males, that they were like, they're not gonna have sex, they're not gonna have kids, they're not gonna get married, they're not gonna date men, they're done. Um, it's starting to, you know, pop up here in the United States, like people here in the United, well, women here in the United States are joining the 4B movement. And the funny thing to me is watching the red pill guys have a knee jerk reaction to the 4B movement, which is, funny because in the red pill guys are MGTOW men going their own way that they're not going to date women they should they should totally understand but instead they're upset that women are choosing not to deal with men and like I said totally get it the way that men have been behaving and and and, and don't let don't, don't get me wrong I, I understand why the red pill movement gained such popularity because it made mediocre men feel seen it gave them a place where they felt like people understood them which is sad because instead of mediocre men seeing that society is changing and deciding to become better people better humans and be desirable because they've improved themselves they doubled down on their sexism and patriarchy and, and misogyny and thought that you know women were going to be forced because you know it was the whole world war three thing and the winter was coming and women were going to be forced to be you know to commit to men and, and i don't know i don't know follow the feet of men whatever it was that they believed and now it's just watching reality hit is hilarious and i am enjoying it thoroughly it's been the best um but yeah this this should be the point where the mediocre man should start listening to women and listening to men who make sense, um, helping them to really understand that they have to be whole people to come into the relationship, that they can't expect women to be the fixers of men, that they can't expect women to clean their homes or take care of them or bear unlimited children to them with no resources. Um, this is the moment, fellas. This is your moment to recognize that the red pill led you astray and that you have to, if you actually want to date women, and you don't have to. Like, the women are okay if you decide to go your own way and not date women. Like, women are like, okay, no problem. Um, if you decide you want to get married, to date women, to, to have a relationship, 
you gotta work on yourself. You gotta go to therapy, work on your traumas. You gotta, you know, and therapy, like, therapy is a good thing, fellas. Try it, it's good for you. Um, you gotta work on yourself and be the type of person who is attractive to women. Be able to take care of yourself. Be able to clean up after yourself. Not be somebody who becomes a dependent because that's the problem. Women don't need that. We're not looking for dependence. Some of us are not looking for anything, but if we find somebody, they have to be able to take care of themselves. Women are tired. We are happy alone. A lot of us are very happy alone. So you have to be somebody that improves their ha a woman's happiness to get in a relationship with a woman. And if you can't do that, just go ahead and leave women alone. And it's okay, we will be all right. But yeah, just watching the whole thing, the whole, this, this this has been great. This past five years have been great. Um, I'm curious to see where the men go. Anyway, hope you enjoy. Like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, join my channel for members-only content. Peace, guys.